Today, I've collected several drawing techniques for you. First, you need to draw a picture on a folded piece of paper. I've chosen a doggy, but you can draw anyone you like. Now, let's turn our imagination on and come up with the most interesting part. First, let's do the outline. Then, let's draw something funny and unexpected. To make the picture brighter, let's color it with felt pens. This is our cute doggy! <laughs> I've also drawn several friends for him. Comment below which one you like best. The dog. The cat. Or the mouse. While you're voting, I'll start making the next drawing. To add more magic to it, we'll need the following things. I've prepared this paper frame in advance and this piece of paper to fit in, where we need to fold the sides in. Like this. Now, let's check. The paper should be hidden in the frame perfectly. Great, now I'll apply some glue and stick it inside. Let's apply some glue to the frame as well and seal it. So one part is ready. For the next step, I'm going to need a piece of paper to fit into the frame and transparent film or thin plexiglass and a small rectangle from the same piece of paper as our frame. I'll draw a unicorn on the white paper. Oh, I love drawing magical creatures. Do you guys? Next, I'll color it brightly. Now, we'll place the film onto the drawing and glue the rectangle to one side. Right, let's move on to our trick. We'll outline the drawing on top of the film. It'll create an amazing effect. Now we can connect our parts like this. Wow, guys, look! It's real magic! Here! Yahoo! <laughs> now I'm going to show you my favorite drawing technique. We'll only need written words for it. Now, let's switch on our imagination. And our first three letters turn into a bunny head. And the last two complete the body perfectly. Let's add a carrot to our drawing because bunnies love it. Looks awesome! Shall we try again? The word cake. Let's connect our letters like this. Of course, what's a cake without candles, right guys? Let's make our cake double layered, like Sammy likes it. Done! If you want, you can color this cake in the most delicious colors. Well, now you've probably guessed what I want to draw. I hope I can do it! It's starting to look like a cute panda! Let's add the ears! Aw, so adorable! I'll draw some bamboo next to the panda. Did you know that the big panda is called a bamboo bear? You did know it, then why? Write in the comments below! Guys! Did you like this drawing technique? If you want to see other words, give this video a thumbs up and I'll show you even more pictures in the next video. For the next drawing, we're going to need this square piece of paper. Let's fold it in half on two sides. Now, let's fold four corners into the middle, like this. Now, let's turn the paper over and repeat after me. Now we neatly fold our big square into this amazing shape. And unfold the moving corners. Now we need to draw a circle over the surface of the square with a marker. And let's add some emojis. Looks a 
bit boring. We need to make it brighter. That's better! Guys! Let's try to count how many emotions we have now in our emoji machine. Write your answers in the comments below, and I'll go prepare a new drawing for you! Holy cannoli, what's this new toy? Hmm, I need to try it. I've remembered one more awesome drawing method. Use a ruler to draw a square. It's better not to draw the square too big. This should be enough. Now let's draw a diagonal line. And draw lines inside the square. All the lines should be straight. And of course, the stripes should be one size. It's important to color our drawing in the right way. We need to apply shadows to get smooth transitions of color. And now, we need to make one side slightly darker. Right. We need a lighter brush pen here. And let's add some accents in the middle of the drawing. Now let's look at the result at a different angle. Our shadows give the drawing a 3D effect and fool our eyesight. Awesome! If the last technique seemed too simple for you, let's try making something more complicated. We'll need a ruler and precise calculations again. I think it's better to draw dots first, and then add the lines. Everything should be neat and symmetrical. Now, we can start coloring. First, I'll color two parts with a black marker. And I'll color the rest with gray. And our drawing is ready. Now here's a small secret. Let's fold the drawing along the line. One and two. And now it's time for some magic. Here's the result we've got with a combination of only two colors. Guys, if you like drawing, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll go look where Sam has gone today. Bye-bye. <laughs>